Oh. Hey. Hey, what's up? I was wondering if I could borrow one of your serving spoons. Serving spoon for what? Yeah, to, well, today is the day of my annual family reunion cookout, and I need this spoon for my dish. Oh. Yeah, so it's a tradition that everyone brings their own dish that we can share with everyone. So it's, it's kind of funny, though, because everyone brings something that kind of reflects something about them. Oh, yeah? Like yeah. what? Uh, well, Uncle Ted, who's the shortest member of the family, he always brings shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Aunt Edna. Aunt Edna is the sweetest, kindest soul on earth. So she brings angel food. Oh. Oh, and cousin Stu. Brings Stu. No, no, he brings hard boiled eggs because he smells kind of funny. Oh. Uh, my grandpa Bill, oh, who yeah? works in the mining industry. Yeah. Get this. What? He always brings coleslaw. Uh, <laughs> no, you get it? Yeah, yeah. Coal, coal <laughs> slaw. <laughs> and what do you bring? Uh, dry toast? <laughs> Hello, all you crazy so and so out there. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I am Brandon. And I'm John. <laughs> I'm so excited. John is making his world famous barbecued brisket. It is one of my favorite things to eat in this world. He's even won several barbecue competitions with his recipe. Yep. Four years in a row I was voted best barbecuer in the tri-state area. Really? Which states? The tri-ones. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to set my trusty timer. You see, the secret ingredient to good barbecue isn't the spices or sauces. It's the amount of time you take to slow cook it. Oh, for how long? I can't share that info. It's classified by NASA. Really? No. Oh, man. Oh, it already smells so good. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I am so hungry. <laughs> Oh, I can smell it now. Oh, I am coming for you, you magnificent barbecue. I can't wait to have you in my tum-tums. Uh, 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 not so fast. We have to wait for the timer to let us know when it's ready. Right. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. So we just wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Sure, I can do that. Okay. <laughs> I can wait. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Huh? Oh my god. Ah, ah, ah! The alarm's going off! The alarm's going off! I, <laughs> yes, I know, I know, I know. It's time to flip the brisket before I reset the alarm. <laughs> reset the alarm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was just the first hour of cooking. We got seven more hours to go. Seven hours? Hey. Are you crazy? I'm hungry now. Well, I don't know what to tell you. I can't control time, Brandon. Just, just grab a small snack or something to tide you over. Here we go. All right. Be right back. Small snack, he says. Tide you over, he says. I want my barbecue now. Oh, I know just the snack. Barbecue chips. <laughs> this might ease some cravings. I'll just eat one. Mm. Mm. Or two. Just two. <laughs> or four is done. Oh, hold on. <laughs> what? Brandon, I said have a small snack. I can't help it. I'm hungry. Yeah, well, don't, don't ruin your appetite, all right? I promise I won't. Okay. I can just wait, right? I don't want to be too full to eat that brisket in uh, seven hours! Maybe just one more snack. Excuse me.
And great news, you know what that means? It's time for my brisket to be eaten. No. Brandon. Yes. Brandon, where, where? Oh, Brandon, what have you done? Oh. <clears throat> Whoa. I had a snack. Yeah, I can see that. Um, so I guess that means you don't want to eat. No! Oh. Don't say that word. What word? Ah. Eat? No! Oh, okay. Uh, well, uh, I guess that means it's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> Hello, hello, what is up my, my, my goodness? Yeah, um, uh, um, Brandon is a little full. How much did you eat? No! I, he, he's a little sensitive to the word mm. eat, to food, mm. to words referring to edible items. No! Ah. Gotcha. Ironically though, today's story is about a bowl of, um, oh. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, well then by all means, take it away. Today's story is about two famous brothers, twin brothers actually. Their names were Esau and Jacob. And even though they were twins, they were very different from each other. Esau, he was like the outdoorsy type. He liked to hunt and he was really hairy. And Jacob, well, he preferred staying at home and he was an amazing cook. So one day, what is going on? Hey folks, now today, we dive into the volatile relationship between twin brothers who are more different than a wombat and a bag of corn nuts. Now one has swindled the other and we're gonna to get to the bottom of how. Join me, won't you, for another episode of Dr. Larry. Um. Okay, folks. Now the first twin you're gonna to meet today is the slightly younger of the two brothers. Now please welcome to the show Jacob, hey, come on out here, Jacob. There he is. Well, hey, hey, don't be nervous. Can't go bite. Not too hard anyway. Have a seat there. All right, Jacob. Now, why don't you uh, go ahead and tell me about the relationship you have with your brother, all that growing up and whatnot. Well, we are very different, mm -hmm. but we got along for the most part. You got along. Yeah. Mm hmm You got a long. Mm. <laughs> they got along, folks. Now that's like saying that dogs and cats get along. Or cats and mice get along, or pickles and tater tots. Hmm? Pickles and tater tots? That's what I'm saying, pickles and tater tots. I have it upon good authority, however, that the two of you actually had some heated moments. Heated moments that would make Tabasco sauce look like eye drops. Hmm? Ow. That's what I'm saying, ow indeed. Now there's a moment in particular that I'd like to chat about with you, okay? Okay. All right then. Now did you steal your brother's birthright? Hmm? Huh? Did you steal your brother's birthright? You know, the birthright, the inheritance that he gets for being the firstborn. Tell me about it. Um, no. No, you didn't. No. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't trick your brother out of his birthright for a bowl of stew. Hmm? Oh! Oh! That time. Yes, that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I did. But it was all his fault. Oh. Well, there you go, folks. It was all his fault. Now, I'd like to hear a little bit more about that, but I'd like to hear it from your brother Esau himself. Oh, my 
brothers here. How wonderful. <laughs> it is wonderful. And we'll get to see exactly what he says right after this very important commercial break. So, yeah. Anyway, Jacob tricked Esau out of his birthright. And here's how it happened. Esau was out hunting while Jacob was cooking a delicious red stew. And after a long day, Esau was super hungry. So when Esau saw the stew, I guess we're going back to... Well, now I'd like to hear this story from your brother's point of view. Hey folks, please welcome to the Dr. Larry Show, Esau. Woo! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> love you. I love you too. Okay, Esau, have a seat there, buddy. I think you might be scaring my audience. Thank you for having me on, Dr. Larry. Oh, you betcha now. <laughs> Ooh, the tension's so thick you could cut it with the backbone of a stegosaurus. <laughs> I tell you what, I can tell these fellows are twins. I mean, it's like looking at two mirror images. That is if those mirrors were facing completely different people. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> now, Esau, Jacob here says he didn't steal any kind of birthright from you. Now, what says you about that? He tricked me. Oh, -ho! there you go. Your lies smell like a pound of head cheese. But, mm. but. Interjection here. He, he didn't steal it. Mm -hmm. I, um, I, I gave it to him. What? Whoa, I did not see that coming, folks. Hoo-hoo! I'm about as lost as last year's Easter egg. I think I'm gonna need a breather here. Uh, we'll be right back. Ooh, a twist. So when Esau saw his brother stew, he really wanted a bowl. Like, he really wanted a bowl. And Jacob knew it. So Jacob decided to offer a trade. A bowl of stew for Esau's... That was so close. Well, folks, I'm as flabbergasted as a bowl full of flubber in a shake and bake commercial. Now, Esau, can you repeat what you just said before we went to break? Hmm? I said, I gave Jacob my birthright. <laughs> well, I guess my question is probably the same thing that everybody out there in TV land is thinking, and here it is. Huh? I was hungry, okay? I thought I was gonna die if I didn't get food. Couldn't wait, I got so impatient. And Jacob offered me a bowl of stew for my, my, his birthright. <laughs> and you just up and said yes. Oh, Willie Nelson like. Well, I wasn't sure if he was actually gonna go for it. I mean, a birthright for stew? Mm. That's, that has to be one of the most understandable decisions I've ever seen. Well, I for one think you both ought to be ashamed of yourself. You, Jacob, for taking advantage of your starving brother. And you, Esau, for being so impatient that you traded away everything for a bowl of stew. Folks, this reminds me of something my uncle would say. If you can't look a gift horse in the mouth, you might as well play the banjo. Think on it. There you go. So, what have we learned here today? Simple. Impatient, don't be it. That's all the time we've got today. Hey, won't you join me next time for another heaping helping of Dr. Larry? All right, then, folks. Well done. I appreciate that. Hey, let's go. Uh, let's go grab something. To eat. Well, there you have it. Jacob's brother Esau gave up his entire inheritance for a bowl of stew. Yikes! His impatience cost him well everything. What'd you think, fellas? Listen, I've been impatient before, but I've never done something that ridiculous. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, well, I I'm sure I've made some really bad decisions because I couldn't wait. Hey, we all have. And we all know that when we are not patient, we can miss out on something valuable. That is why it's so important for us to ask God to help us when we think we just can't wait. Why did I snack so much? Thanks for the story. No problem, and feel better. Bye. Uh, you gonna be all right, buddy? I mean, you ate a lot. No! But yeah, I'm just bummed I didn't get a chance to experience your prize-winning brisket. Yeah, me too. 
Uh, but you know what you can experience? Yep. Reveal the question. Oh, what could you miss out on by not waiting? Well, there's... Brisket. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Uh, watching spoilers might make you miss out on the ending of your favorite movie or TV show. Or, you know, you may miss out on something else. You know? Like brisket? Well, or... Yeah, something a little more important. Yeah, just listen, talk about it together. What could you miss out on by not waiting? That's all the time we have. I'm John. I'm Brisket. Yeah, and we'll see you on the next so-and-so show. So can I- Don't look at me, I'm an animal. I'm just wanting to help Go! you. Go! I'd like to hear just a little bit more about that. Pie? No. No. Oh. Like brisket? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Did you do that to me? No. <laughs> 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 Oh.